What up and up, it's Swift here, coming at you with another Clash of Clans video, and I have an exciting one here for you. We have the One Hive 2.0 Combined Family Scrim vs. One Hive in a no-dip style war. Uh, those no-dip style wars are extremely fun. It's like going back to the olden days where 11s hit 11s, or I guess there wouldn't have been 11s then, but you, you see the picture, 10v10s and 9v9s, and it was just mass carnage going back and forth, and it was close all the way to the end. Unfortunately, I do not have any 11v11s to show off, but have some awesome 10v10s. We had four total, and a few 9v9s that were pretty interesting, and uh, some of which you've seen before, and some that you may have not. So don't want to be long-winded here. Let's get right into the action. So first up we got uh, Robra in a 10v10 hog attack. Sweet, right? Yeah. Uh, so at 12 o'clock he's going to drop two golems here. That's a little off on the camera here, but uh, dropping the queen. And then the two golems, we're going to spread out some wizards, fan them out behind uh, real nicely. Get that nice tight funnel uh, tight. And uh, you got to send in a test breaker. Always uh, expecting a, like a little, little, little bomb there to stop the wall breakers from going in. Breaks the wall successfully, and then he's going to jump over that expo, and as you'll see in just a second, and there goes the jump. So Wizards is going to go poof under those uh, Infernos, but not a big deal. So he's getting as much value from this as he uh, expected. The King's going in. It's going to aggro that Queen pretty quickly, jump over, right over that, take the bombs out with the, the perfect split with the, the Golems, uh, and the, the full brunt force of the expos and wizard towers and everything in the core that that is a monstrous core so let me tell you but he got both infernos with the queen so we got a lot of value from that jump so high value jump there going from three to six with his hogs he just pretty much um put them all out you know no no surgical spam nothing you know just <laughs> put them all out so uh, he's gonna heal uh, in, in, in places that he needs i like what he did here he didn't heal right over the uh, wizard tower but he healed where they're gonna go so that was really smart there the king is doing a little bit of work on there but the queen is still up in the core so it's gonna help out assist with uh cleanup later but we only have like three point defenses left uh excuse me four but the expo is going to go down pretty quickly uh got a hog split there and they're still a little bit under the heel so Gonna take out that cannon pretty quickly, and then the, finally the AD. Uh, Queen's gonna work on that king. He walks away a little bit, and then comes back, realizes what happens, and then it's too late. Uh, goodbye, king. Um, so, really good raid by Robra. Uh, versus Rahi, I guess? Well, maybe you should have built a better base, because it got crushed. But, uh, regardless, this was a really good raid. Um, nothing stopping that, so I'm gonna speed it up here. Got a wizard cleaning up and a, and a couple hogs split up there a little bit. And one lone archer at top. They're working on that uh, gold storage. So yeah, baby, that was nice. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't going to even attempt to uh, show my 10v10s. Which they were like terrible, but I did a uh, queen charge la low. And I, I, you know, I'm not a 10v10 guy at all. I'm really not a town hall 10 guy anyways. But it was good. But next up, we have a fresh uh, Go Bowie, or whatever you call that, uh, uh, for lack of better words. Uh, trying to behave myself here. Uh, with a, a this fresh hit by a CBG. Um, been a while since I got to recap CBG. I don't know if I ever recapped him. But uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty good so far. We got to jump over into the first Inferno Tower. And then uh, draws the Law Loon CC. Not going to be a big deal. So we dropped a pre-poison to take care of that loon. Um, so getting tremendous value from that rage. The queen does lock on to the hound. No big deal. So we drop the hill before uh, it gets into the second inferno. But it's, little, you know, you can't really prevent that. It's got a really long reach. Uh, the long arms of hell just raining down fire. But it's not going to be enough. CBG is going to overpower this base. Queen's getting a little stupid in the core, but she's going to jump over in just a minute, or hopefully she does. I can't quite remember. But, uh, you know, it looks like it's fanning out a little bit, and actually it does get really close at the end. But that's the way these 10v10 uh, attacks are with this specific strategy. So she does end up taking the uh, jump, and uh, she still has her queen ability, saving that uh, skelly spell for 
the right moment. And he's going to drop it on the uh, Archer Tower. It doesn't get a lot of value because there is a splash damage there, but the Queen does take care of that without a problem. Uh, she did pop her ability, so we're a little bit uh, crunch time here, trying to get through that wall to get to that last uh, um, Archer Tower, but it wasn't enough. That thing would have just smoked her with the double bombs anyways, but we have a Bowler Brigade and a few Skellies with some Witches uh, making their way around, so only 39 seconds. Can we do it? Obviously, it was a three-star, but it was a close one. Uh, and I don't care what anybody says, this is not easy to do uh, on uh, uh, like 10v10. 11v10, cakewalk, really brainless attack. But this was a solid hit by CBG, so good job, man. I know I'm just giving you uh, a little flack there. I had to, had to do it, buddy. So uh, good job with that hit. So next up, we're going to show up. Uh, we have another hog uh, raid, I believe. It was a cleanup. But I think we had two uh, uh, Go Bow Witch uh, hits. And I think this might have been another one. Yeah, it was. So we had three total hits on this base, uh, me included, but mine was absolutely terrible. The first one was a 99%. Uh, I was so close to finishing it off, but we got a really good raid here. So uh, funneling with a uh, bowler at th uh, 6 o'clock and a minion at 9. We're going to start this uh, funnel off. Pretty easy. Got a lot of value from that minion, really. Uh, so uh, dropping two golems um, at nine and six, or rather eight and seven, whatever. Uh, fanning these bowlers out um, behind. Not trying to send them all out. Just trying to get that nice uh, tight funnel there, and then uh, we're gonna send in the rest of the kill squad. Uh, Be making very uh, sure that the uh, king gets dropped last so the king isn't the first thing that's targeted by cc and taken care of too quickly that is a uh, such a good tanking troop inside the core so taking the jump um and raging that in first inferno gonna take out that expo no problem uh king's still looking good the queen's still up uh still got a significant amount of bowlers here we are in the next inferno range uh both flanks are still looking pretty solid got three witches on both sides or uh yeah roughly and uh, a, a couple bowlers so uh making it all the way to the end of the base we're looking really good this uh, so far so the queen just still got our ability and we still got the uh, the skelly spell uh taking out that last wizard tower and a couple more point defenses left up uh, this is a lower tier base but it was a decent base design so um uh, the the skelly uh, spell was dropped on that last cannon and Amazingly, we still have our flank. So solid hit by OMG. He 121. If that's not really how you pronounce it, my bad, buddy. But solid hit. Nice cleanup. Interesting that he had a miner in this CC. Most people take uh, like a, a giant with their bowlers. So we're going to show one more attack here at 10v10. And we got Bakur here with a hog raid. This guy, uh, from what I understood, really likes his hogs. So let's see them in action. This guy can three-star a base with his eyes closed. It's crazy. Dropping two minions at uh, 9 o'clock uh, on both the spell uh, factories. And then a golem at 6 o'clock. Actually, he brings two golems, uh, one at six and then one at nine. Uh, it's going to start this off kind of like uh, a, a standard bitch attack would go. Um, but uh, we're going to get a lot of value from those tanking troops. Going to th throw out a few wall breakers, try to break that golem into uh, the compartment. It uh, did so successfully. So draw up in a little mini kill squad here. We're going to try to carve out that, uh, that first corner here, dropping a jump over that expo into the Inferno Tower. Uh, going to get a lot of value from this. The uh, whole goal was to get the, the CC um, and the Inferno, which he does successfully. So uh, it's looking really good so far. Still got a little Golemite uh, up tanking and a couple bowlers. They're going to weed out, uh, uh, fan out pretty pretty quickly. Uh, did get a, the Tesla farm pop in the core. So Queen's going to deal with that uh, enemy Queen pretty quickly. Uh, and then he's, she's going to take out that clan castle. Are we going to get that expo though? That's the question. Can we do it? And we are not successful in doing so. But he drops all of his hogs except for three. Um, and then uh, a nice little hill freeze 
into the core. So we're going to get all the value from that teal spell. Uh, dropping the last uh, three hogs at uh, uh, 2 o'clock on that archer tower. Going to try to work our way down. So it's looking good so far. The king gets a little confused here and uh, starts to go for the uh, the brigade at uh, 6 o'clock, but changes his mind. I guess the hogs look sexier on the other. Maybe it's a, it's a weird king. I don't know. But uh, so, oh! Got a nice spring chat there, but it's not going to be enough. Um, the last more uh, goes down, and I'm going to speed this up. This is a nice cleanup. So, Bakura with a nice 10v10. What a solid hit. And we're just killing it with these 10v10s. I mean, granted, we did take a few hits to get them done, but the strat's there. So, uh, it's always nice to see. I just love No Dip Wars. They're so, so fun. I'm, I'm really hoping that we're, we do a lot more of these in the future. Maybe sign up for No Dip League. I don't know, leadership. Let's let's do it. Let's look into it. So we got a couple 9v9 hits here. Let's just thumb through here and see what we want to look at. Uh, so many good hits. The unfortunate aspect of No Dip is if you don't clear the nines, you don't clear the nines. You can't dip them. So, um, well, we got a witch slap here. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing a witch slap. You do what works, right? So... I have no complaints here. Using a two golem witch slap, this is something you'd see in a 10v10, but uh, uh, Saket does this. Um, using only two healers on the flank at three o'clock, but they kind of redirect to the core. Uh, oddly enough, I guess the one of the healers just saw something she really liked. Uh, sending the bowlers in. We're going to jump over into the uh, uh, archer tower co compartment. Uh, they almost redirect, but they go into the core uh, finally. One bowler does end up walking, but that's not a big deal. It probably helped him out in the long run. Does, uh, we still have a healer up. Uh, Sakat moving on through the base. The queen is locked onto the hound. Gets the hound pop, but we have a couple wizards there to deal with that easily. Uh, king is deep into the core at this point. We're trying, trying to play catch up with the wizards and the, the queen uh, moving on in. Um, so the healer redirected off the flank for some odd reason, but, um, the, uh, the witch took care of the skellies on that, on that, uh, healer. So no big deal. We're looking really solid at this point. It's really, at this point, it's hard to picture or fail. So, um, good job to Psycat, uh, his solid, uh, witch slap attempt here. Gets the job done with ease. Only two, uh, four point defenses uh, left up uh, with the, well, I guess we got a mortar uh, still, but it's not really going to do much there. So a couple uh, witches making their way around 9 o'clock. Uh, and this is going to make for pretty easy cleanup. Uh, I don't know why I didn't speed through this, but, or maybe I did. Cool. Uh, so good hit by Psycat. So let's go ahead and get to another replay here. <laughs> So Thanksgiving's tomorrow, and I'm excited. I'm actually baking turkey for the first time. So hopefully I don't uh, fail my family like I fell on Clash. Uh, drop in a uh, baby dragon at 3 o'clock. We're going to try to start this little uh, funnel, or I guess to make the queen go where he wants. So for those of you that say, hey, P.E.K.K.A.s don't work, nah, proves that P.E.K.K.A. smash is indeed an awesome strategy, and I loved every minute of this raid. So let's let's watch as this uh, attack unfolds. Queen's making her way towards, um, gets really low, so he has to raise her quick or he's gonna have to pop the ability, but making her way towards 12 o'clock, uh, that was the intention, I think. Um, so we're gonna get a lot of value from this queen uh, as she's walking through. The baby dragon's still up, so getting a nice, uh, a nice walk here. Pekkas do go down. Healers on, behind the Pekkas. The Pekkas are tanky as all get out. So a couple wizards behind uh, the Pekkas and the Golem. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, Barbarian King. Pulls the CC. It is a dragon, but it's going to be easily dealt with by the wizards and the poison spell. So raging a little early to push these uh, troops, this kill squad, into the core. Uh, nothing else for them to walk so they all go into the core queen's still up with healers on and getting a little low but not a big deal gonna go ahead and uh uh use that final uh rage in the core 
And those bowlers are as healthy as can be. And what a good pack of smash. Look at this. Go white, baby. That's Bring it back. I love go white days. Uh, I'm a TH8 uh, at heart. So Town Hall 8 all the way, baby. Let's, let's just go ahead and start a Town Hall 8 league. That's more my speed. Uh, Queen is making her way around 12 o'clock. A pack is still up. Those things aren't going down. Those things are monsters. His his are like big peckers. Look at that. It's big, big peckers. So awesome hit by no. Uh, this is a fellow clan mate of. Oh, I say clan. We're all clan mates, but uh, and, and Victonite. <laughs> and so I, I'm an Invicta uh, with no, and uh, this guy's really just doing work. Uh, so shout out to Nuh. You're doing a good job. Keep up the good work, and uh, we're gonna see a lot more of you. So let's get on to the next one. So about this turkey, uh, if any of you guys have some like great ideas, drop some comments below. Um, like as far as stuffing goes and whatnot, I'm I'm not really sure. So hopefully, before I start cooking in the morning, I'll have some responses. So let's uh, let's get those out there. Come on now. Um, anyway, so we're gonna show McGrady. McGrady is an old head in the clan, and this guy is such a respectable guy. A uh, really solid attacker too. Um, and so everybody's so proud of him. He, he, he leads by example, and that's exactly what 2.0 exemplifies. Um, so uh, without all that mushy-gushy stuff, let's get right into the attack. So he does get a little troll Tesla farm at the bottom. Uh, it takes care of that easily. i uh, got to kind of carve out this, uh, this corner piece here so we can jump into the core. Those are sometimes can be a little tricky uh, with their layout, but he uses the king nicely to walk uh, a 6 to 9. And uh, the enemy queen does aggro onto uh, the tanking troops at that corner, and uh, the queen, his queen, takes care of that pretty easily. Starting the uh, hog early, he does do opt for a surgical hog uh, uh, spam here, and it is nice. Um, his spells were a little misplaced here, and does get a skelly pop there, but it's not going to make much of a difference. Uh, this the queen is still up still has her ability so it's looking pretty good so far are, are we gonna take care of these pups anytime soon they're just doing work on that golem um, and at this point golemite so but at least they're tanking so it was, it was good there uh, again a little early hill spell needed to be a little bit further uh, towards three o'clock but we still have a lot of pekkas up and that queen will take care of those lava pups no problem so really good raid by McGrady uh, in this 9v9 attempt he did save an archer and a wizard uh, for cleanup up top just in case, but uh, doesn't even need it. So really, really good job, McGrady. Hats off to you, buddy. So this is just a fun war all, all together. If you've never done it, like a no-dip style war, and I'm sure if you like uh, the casual player that's not in like a CWL-oriented uh, type fair play clan, uh, you're used to seeing this. Uh, but anytime we get a chance to do it, it's so exciting. Uh, so my man Dita, I don't, get to, he doesn't get very much face time, uh, but he should. He's such a great attacker, uh, solid help to the whole clan. Uh, so, uh, hats off to you too, my man, and, uh, keep up the good work there. So, uh, we're going to do another hog raid here and, uh, let's see how this develops. Dropping two golems to tank and, uh, going to get a nice funnel with these wizards behind them. Um... So a couple of wizards are going to walk towards 12 o'clock and going to get a pretty good value there because they're out of range of that king so far. Um, so breaking into that wall with the uh, wizard tower compartment, a couple of archers there, uh, going to get a nice pop there on that giant bomb. Uh, so a couple of wizards do go, but it's not going to make a difference. Gets a little offset jump there. I think he intended to get a piece of that core. Uh, which he did not, I don't believe, but maybe they do jump in the core. Um, so they do, the king does aggro onto the uh, enemy archer queen and uh, deals with that with a kill squad there. So we're going to carve out this whole section. Um, yeah, he did misplace his jump, so I uh, had to place another one there, but no big deal. So he starts uh, uh, surgically placing his hogs around the base. Uh, six, some at six, some at three, and getting a nice uh, heal there. Um, into that wizard tower compartment. So we're looking really good here so far. Queen ended up dying, the king ended up dying. So we're really just relying on these hogs at this point. We do have, uh, we don't have any more heal spells left. So let's just pray and hope that we can just finish this raid off successfully. Um, I do like the surgical uh, hogs because um, whereas 
if you dump all of them all in the same place, you're risking like giant bombs. And if you run out of hills, that's really that's a, that's a danger zone. Uh, so spamming them or surgically placing the hogs around the base, you can you know mitigate some of that damage and the uh, upsets of uh, filling with the the giant bombs. So really good raid by Dita and a really good war by One Hive 2.0 Family Scrim. So we did. Um, um, we did do this war in hopes that we can, you know, really just see um, how well, like, the entire clan meshes all the way from uh, Swarm all the way to 2.0. Because, really, sometimes with a, with big clans, especially big family clans, you, you get these mixture of talents. Uh, and sometimes it gets so crowded that you you miss or overlook some people so it's a really good thing that we we decided to go ahead and do a uh, mixed uh, family event like this and uh, i think it's so healthy for a clan uh to be able to uh you know converse all the way from the bottom to the the top you know we i think um um swarm is actually doing like uh, minor leagues which is good uh good experience and it's going to actually help them as they're coming into a rising uh which is would is invicta uh, uh, so, you know, really big things coming for the clan and I'm super excited, but, uh, yeah, so that was the no dip war. Uh, we ended up losing by three, one hive showed out. They did, they did really good. They had a couple, uh, 10 v 10s and, um, just got the job done in the end. So hats off to them and thanks, uh, to all the leadership that put this together and I was glad to bring it to you. But yeah, like I said, Drop in some comments below. I would definitely want to hear some feedback uh, and say, hey, Swift, you suck. How do you, have you never cooked a turkey before? Well, I've never had to. So um, <laughs> anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.